What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about esports talk. So sit back because it's going to be quite a long story that we've got to tell you about this guy. He's a very biased news outlet. And when I say he, I am talking about one of them, which is Jake Sucky. As Sarge would refer to him as Jake Sucky Sucky Sucky. But at the start of this video, we're going to get into what's gone on recently. Everybody knows Zelena has been getting accused of cheating for a long time. There has been so many suspicious moments within his gameplay that it's at the point where you could just make a video every single day on this guy's gameplay with so many suspicious moments in it. And I don't understand why people cannot see that it's suspicious. However, Jake Sucky has always been very biased towards the top level content creators and it would appear that when it comes to one of these top level content creators or top level streamers actually doing something wrong, he doesn't seem to actually put anything out on his channel about that. If he is a news outlet, if he is an esports news outlet, which he does claim to be, which esports talk is meant to be, along with many others that I would say are absolute trash. Jake Lucky and Esports Talk are definitely a very biased news outlet. But then again, what news outlet isn't? So we're going to get into it quite a lot today, guys. And it does involve headband as well. So I hope you guys are ready to enjoy this. If you do enjoy the video, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. If you want to contact me, hit me up on Twitter at BadBoyBeeman. Right, let's crack on with the video. So as we get into this video today, guys, we are going to be talking about Jake Lucky or Jake Sucky. This guy is one of the presenters on Esports Talk News Channel, which is a YouTube channel. And we're going to be talking about his biased nature towards these top level streamers and top level content creators. Let's go back a couple of months when I was putting videos out on Zelena to start with. And Zelena decided to do a response video or two. And I think they covered about an hour, two hours maybe in the two videos either way zelena responded and that's when it really started zelena responded it got a bit of traction people were coming and giving me hate no problem i was expecting it from day one but then esports talk got involved somebody who has never reached out to me about any of the actual streamers who have come out to admit that they were cheating who have accidentally shown their cheat menus on stream they've never contacted me about anything like that because hey guess what they want to tarnish my name along with zelena they want to tarnish my name they're saying that I am not doing any good for the community. Same as Modern Warzone, but we don't even need to talk about him. Here is a list of videos. If we type in Esports Talk Bad Boy Beeman, Zelena defends Warzone accusations of manipulated clips. Clips were never manipulated. However, in this video, Jake Sucky decides to go ahead and basically side with Zelena's side of things. And how can you report on news if you don't get both sides of the story? Okay? Not once has this guy ever reached out to me for my side of the story. Not once. Okay, so he is literally giving a biased, one-sided opinion on all of these videos. Bad Boy Beeman denies Zelena Ultimatum to delete channel. I mean, of course I was going to deny that. What an absolutely idiotic, stupid offer that was. It completely made no sense when all of his gameplay, every single day, on every single stream, is suspicious. Yeah? Simple as that. So, of course, I was going to deny that because I'm not taking time out of my day to go and fly all the way over to Canada just to see that he can drop 20 kills whilst not cheating, but then go and drop 40 or 50 with whatever he's got running. Z Lane is ultimatum for Bad Boy Beam and delete your channel, right? So, every single video that has been surrounding the subject of Z Lane and the cheating allegations and the suspicious gameplay from Esports Talk has always been biased in favor of Z Lane. Now, I want you to take that into consideration as we move forward into this video, because the way Jake Lucky puts his videos out is very clever, and there are always very one-sided narratives within them. So we're going to go and take a look at the most recent one that's gone out today, about Headband, pretty much. The video the Headband put out on Zelena with all of those moments all into one video was absolutely phenomenal. It was gold. We're going to go and take a look at how esports talk, sorry, how Jake Lucky decided to approach this. Let's go. So this is the most recent video that's gone out surrounding the situation, at least. Tim the Tapman responds to Zelena hacking accusations. Now, Tim the Tapman, before we get started on this, because obviously to fit Jake's narrative, he's had to only show one clip. And there are clips out there of Tim the Tapman stating that Zelena doesn't cheat, 
There are also clips out there of Tim the Tapman asking Zelena where to plug his Cronus in, how does he use that, how is his aim is so sticky, and so on. So there are actually more clips out there and more moments within these streams where Tim the Tapman and Dr. Disrespect have hinted towards Zelena that maybe Zelena is using a Cronus. Let me tell you something now, I don't for a second believe that Zelena is using a Cronus because a Cronus doesn't cause your aim to snap, lock or stick the way Zelena's does. But that's besides the point. The fact is the questions have been asked on multiple occasions and have you seen Jake Lucky on Esports Talk mention this in any videos? No. He's used the one clip though where Tim the Tapman comes out and says that Zelena isn't cheating basically. About, but we have been hit up endlessly about have been the ongoing Zlaner accusations and accusations. Our reason for not touching on that is because we dove into it so much in the past, especially around the BBB days where he refuted a lot of that evidence and posted so many videos and clips and others were also talking about it. To be honest with all of you guys, I'm, I'm a bit tired of going through every single clip out there. Zlaner is by far and away the most accused Warzone streamer, or I would say at this point in time, Call of Duty streamer in the entire world. What I I want to do is to wait for an anti-cheat for all of you haters out there because whenever you bring up these kind of debates there are certainly two sides me personally I it's funny that you bring up two sides there jake because you have never once asked for my side of things you have only ever done your videos based on a narrative to fit zelena's side of things okay where you've mentioned me and you've actually slandered my name in the past we could get into it but i'm just not bothered i'm not bothered about the slander if you want to talk trash about my name go ahead jake but what it does, it lets people know that your news channel is very one-sided and very biased. To be fair though, what news channel isn't? Yeah, they only promote news that they want you to know about. And that's why it feels like they don't want us smaller channels to be coming through the ranks and showing the truth of what is actually going on out there. Anyway, let's carry on watching and hear what Jake Sucky Sucky has to say about this. I think Z is innocent, and so too do a lot of top Call of Duty pros and Warzone streamers, and I think for a rightful reason. But if you ever go to YouTube comment section, it's the exact opposite of that because there have been ongoing accusations for months and months, I would say over a year now, from all of these channels, one of which that popped up Ten recently, months. who thinks that every single pro and Warzone streamer apparently is hacking, Z included, is what prompted Tim the Tatman to finally respond to all the Zlaner accusations. Here's what he had to say. Before we actually play what Tim the Tapman had to say, I just want to point out that this happened after the times where we've shown Tim the Tapman and Dr. Disrespect going at Zlaner about the Cronus device, this moment here. But not once does Jake Lucky actually mention anything about those moments. And if you haven't seen those moments, they are linked in the description below. You will be able to see exactly what's going on with Z. When he is playing with Tim the Tapman and Dr. Disrespect, they are constantly putting slide digs in. Whether or not it comes across as banter, whether or not it comes across as jokes or trolling, these guys are constantly pressing Z on the Cronus situation. And as I've already mentioned, I don't believe Zelena uses a Cronus. I believe it is something much worse. Now let's go on to see exactly what Tim the Tapman has to say on the matter, as Jake Lucky states. The type stream's done forever for you and Doc. Oh yeah, no way. I, I can't, for sure. I, I can't. Tim, can you comment and address the Z-Laner accusations? Yeah, I got you. Shut the fuck up! He's not cheating, you're just bots! In the same manner that people say that Tim and Doc are trolling when they talk about the Cronus, did that seem like a very professional and legitimate way to approach that situation? Or could he just be trolling and joking? You see the way it works both ways, there are always two sides, you could say it's truthful, you could say it's trolling, you could say it's joking, you could say it's God's honest truth, it doesn't make a difference. He said those words, but he also stated the C laner uses a Cronus. He's also asked Z laner where to plug his Cronus in and then went on to ask about settings on Cronus and things like that. Don't use this one clip, Jake, when there are plenty out there of Tim the Tapman and Dr. Disrespect actually talking about the Cronus directly to Z laner. In fact, the doc even said the C uses the Cronus every single day. But let's continue on and let's see where this video takes us. Let's see exactly where he goes because what he's about to do now is personally attack Headband and his channel. 
And the reason we say that is because it actually happened to us some months back. And when that did happen, I think I was on around 15,000 subscribers, maybe 20,000, and now I'm on 52,000. See the way that worked for you, Jake? It just didn't. So Headband is now about to get attacked by Jake Lucky with his narrative, his biased narrative, and whilst he's defending Z Lane, claiming that even though there are multiple, multiple sus moments out there, and that Z Lane is the most accused cheater, sorry, streamer out there, that he still believes that Z Lane is legit. And I've always said this as well, guys, that anybody who defends these guys to the end, and then it comes out that one of them is cheating, I will take you down with them. You're going down on their sinking ship. And believe me, I will tell you now. There is no doubt in my mind that a lot of these guys know about what the others are up to. There is no doubt in my mind. Because how can you play with someone for that length of time each day? How can you literally simp over someone, Jake, hmm, that length of time and not realise that their gameplay is unnatural? If you are so into esports, if you are so into the way in which FPS games work and you understand the mechanics of how a game should work, then let me tell you that you would realise that what's happening on majority of those clips that have been put out on Z Lane is not natural. It cannot be done based on natural game mechanics. Anyway, let's carry on and see exactly what Jake's got to say about this. And I understand there's a big rift out there. And I tell you to all of you haters out there who think Z is actually guilty, how about you wait a, a little over a month when the anti cheat is finally here and see if Z either one gets banned or two falls off and stops frying. And one of the biggest points we brought up a long time ago, and quite frankly, I'm just tired of all of it. That's why we don't talk about it. When when Z, if he ever does somehow get banned, which I don't think he will get caught hacking because I don't think he's actually hacking, I'll be the first one to cover it. We'll be the first ones to- Wrong, because if he does fall off and he does get banned, guess what? I covered that 10 months ago. Headband covered that over the last month or so. Sergeant Stressful's put his opinions out on it over the last couple of months. Boston Daily, Gustav Spiels, Pudding, and many more. Rage Against My Machine. They've all actually put videos out about this guy. So, Jake, you are 10 months too late to the party, mate. There is no way you can be first. But, hey, at least if you're last, you still become part of the race. The only thing is, you're calling him Z. He's not your friend. Or is he your friend? Private messages, maybe. I'm going to do a story today, Z. I'm going to do it this way. What do you want me to mention? What do you want me to leave out? Maybe that's what's going on, eh? Because let me tell you now, he gave us two options there. When the anti-cheat comes out, either one, he falls off. Sorry, z -Laner falls off and stops frying. Or two, he gets banned from the anti-cheat. That doesn't seem like many options, really, does it? So let me give you some more options that could potentially happen. Three. The anti-cheat is bogus and doesn't work because there's already an anti-cheat in Call of Duty Warzone and has been since Modern Warfare 2019 actually come out. And it just doesn't work and the cheaters have been rampant and getting more and more rampant as the months go by. Then there's number four. Is that the anti-cheat does work, but it's not at a level that can actually block all cheats. Now let me give you a little bit of information about something. Kernel level anti-cheat. Even kernel level anti-cheats cannot detect every single cheat provider they can't private cheats which are developed for an individual which do cost up to tens of thousands of dollars at a time plus update fees plus all of this going on in the background right they can't be detected they won't get detected not even by a kernel level anti-cheat because these are designed specifically to bypass kernel level anti-cheats so what if the cheats the zelena is using are them type of cheats because let's face it the guy's rich Guy's got lots of money that he's made off all the guys watching him, and I'm sure he's thanked you. Wait, no. He put a picture of his Porsche up and didn't thank anyone for the donations or support, but don't mind that. So we'll get into number five. Whitelist exists. Now, the whitelist I've mentioned in the past is a thing which I believe is created to protect these content creators who have millions of people watching them on a monthly basis. So that they don't get reported in game, mass reports can cause shadow bans. So if you put that Activision ID on a whitelist, it can protect them. And that will stop them from receiving shadow bans off mass reports. However, what if that whitelist actually goes deeper? Or what if these cheaters, sorry, streamers, decide to take advantage of the whitelist and then be able to cheat? Because even if they're getting reported in game, if they're using undetected cheats in a game where they don't receive shadow bans from being mass reported, 
what's stopping them from cheating? They could literally rage hack. And as long as they're not showing the cheat on the stream, they wouldn't get detected and they wouldn't get banned. So there are more options than what Jake, Sucky, uh, Jake Lucky has actually put out. And as I've stated, this guy is very good with a narrative. The way in which he puts it across, he comes across like a nice, humble guy. And don't get me wrong, he probably is. But we've got to remember here, guys, some of us are willing to speak out the truth of what we see, and that's that. Others are willing to protect other people to benefit themselves somehow. And that's what appears to be going on here, in my opinion, is that Jake Sucky has struck lucky with getting involved with all of this by putting his biased opinion across. He's on 431,000 subscribers on his eSports Talk YouTube channel. You know, hats off to him. He's been doing a good job. I actually used to watch his videos. Now I actually don't because obviously he slandered my name all over the show and um, whilst being biased towards z -Lena. And he's doing the same now. But instead of it being me in this video, although I did get a couple of mentions, it's, a, it's an attack on headband. Let's carry on watching and see what exactly is said further down into this video. To talk about it, I can guarantee you that, and I'll say sorry to all of you guys who actually think he is guilty, but when you, as a YouTube channel, are out there posting about everybody, everybody possibly being a hacker, you, to me, lose all your legitimacy. When you think Symphony, when you think Z countless times, uh, when you think Diaz Biffle, when you think Cloak C, when you think all of these guys in every single one of your videos, you are calling out top streamers and top pros and top Call of Duty names just to get clicks and likes. To me, it just seems like BBB, and I'm just tired of all of it. So wait for the anti-cheat to have the final conclusion. Z Laner has now responded to what Tim said, saying that I can't believe you're backing a hacker and the fact that he seems so confident in the anti-cheat um it really has me worried and that's another narrative that's being pushed is that this anti-cheat is actually going to do something it's actually going to work of course i want it to work but it's not going to and i've got proof of why it's not going to work as well we've actually been sent screenshots from the artificial aiming forums where they've discussed how they have found a way to bypass a kernel level anti-cheat so their cheat would be able to be undetected by kernel level. Shall I show them? Shall I show the screenshots? I'm going to. Let's go and take a look at them now. Okay, so a lot of you will know who Ty this is. A lot of you will know that this screenshot right here is from the Artificial Aiming website from their forums. Now, Artificial Aiming has been actually one of the best publicly available cheats in the sense of detection. It has not really received many detections. People who use these cheats tend to only get shadow banned based on reports within the game. And they rotate through many accounts until their shadow bands are lifted and they can just go back and use their accounts. However, recently they have had a detection based on the hardware ID spoofers that were being used. This here, what we can see, is dated the 25th of the 8th, 2021. And it says here, usage of hardware ID changer. Steps to change your hardware ID. Number one, load up the client. Number two, click help, change hardware ID. Number three, Type in a new computer name, press OK. Number four, restart your computer. Number five, load up the clients again. Number six, click the kernel protection button. Blue shield. Notes, you will not receive the same hardware ID as someone else on a different PC. With the same computer name, do not use an old computer name again. Always use a new computer name when changing hardware ID. Example of your... your right, so it's giving examples at the bottom. One thing we're going to focus on here was step six. Click the kernel protection button, blue shield. Hmm. Kernel protection. So essentially, blue shield, kernel protection would protect you against kernel level anti cheats. That's not the only screenshot we've got, though, guys. We're going to show you another one now. Let's go and take a look. This one is a post from Helios. For those who don't know, he's the one who actually designed the software that runs the cheats of artificial aiming. Artificial Aiming Admin. This one, again, was dated on the 25th of the 8th, 2021. Some game anti-cheat developers are finally catching on to the many hardware ID changes. This is why we made changes to Kernel Protection's shield button, built-in hardware ID spoofer. The hardware ID spoofer is now tied into your current computer name, meaning that the spoofer will no longer generate a new hardware ID every time you reboot. It will only generate a new hardware ID if you change your computer name. Loader now comes with an easy to use computer name changer. This should only be used after you receive a ban or shadow ban because changing it too much becomes suspicious. Right, so guys, this is showing straight away that they are already adapting to a kernel level. Whether or not it's just the hardware ID spoofer that they're using within their cheats that is going kernel level, 
Believe me when I say this, that they have access to these things and they will be continuing their development to the point where it is kernel level. All of their cheat engines, not just the hardware ID spoofers, will be kernel level at some point. And if that is the case, it will already combat Call of Duty Vanguard's anti-cheat that they incorporate into the game. But not just that. What you've got to take into consideration is what Call of Duty Vanguard is built on. It is built on the exact same engine as Modern Warfare 2019. It's had a couple of changes put in here and there. But the fact is, and everybody knows it's out there, that the source code has been leaked for that game. So therefore, that engine that it's built on has the source code leaked. So any anti-cheat that's built on top of that source code is also going to be able to be easily bypassed, even by people who aren't running cheats at a kernel level. Now, I'm sure anybody who develops cheats or anybody who has a better understanding of cheats than myself will probably explain in the comments below in detail exactly what to expect. The fact is, I have not seen any of these cheat developers scared. I've not seen any of them worrying. They all seem to be very confident in the fact that they're going to be able to tackle the anti-cheat the Call of Duty Vanguard comes with. So that brings us back now to Jake Sucky talking about whether or not Z Lena will completely fall off or whether or not he'll be banned. Now, I'm pretty sure Jake's a nice guy. I really do think that he could be a nice guy. He doesn't seem toxic. He doesn't seem like that type of person. But what he does seem like is a large fan of these top-level content creators who got quite excited the fact that these guys wanted to work with him. And that's just me giving my opinion on this, by the way, guys. But not once has Jake Sucky actually contacted anyone. Not me, not Headband, not Sergeant Stressful, no one. Maybe we're just not big enough to get his channel, Clout. That's what you guys like to call it, right? But also, as a news reporter, he should be looking on both sides of things. Two sides of events. But something else I noticed within this video is that Jake Lucky actually left himself a little bit of leeway. He gave himself the opportunity there that if for some reason z Lena does get banned or he does fall off, he will be the first one to report on it. And we'll probably defend him and say that, you know, he apologised, he deserves a second chance. But let's face it. I don't believe for one second that an anti-cheat is going to cause Z-Lane any problems. I don't think that he's going to change the way in which he plays. I don't think that he's going to actually get banned. That's my opinion on it. And I genuinely believe that he has got himself into a position now where none of those things will affect him. Believe me when I say that he will be taking trips away with his partner. He will be moving house. He will be having issues with his internet. He will have floods in his house or whatever other reason or excuse to he can come up with when there are updates in the game. And it's just a recurring pattern that every single ban wave that has occurred, Zelena has actually been doing something that involves him not streaming. Maybe not every single one, but a lot of them. So let's talk a little bit more about Jake and his approach to the whole situation, because what I want to do, I want to focus on Jake Sucky here because of his biased approach. And I feel like we need to sort of Hit the nail on the head of exactly what esports talk is doing by allowing Jake Sucky to actually put this out. This is him essentially hyping up Z Laner's fans. This is him essentially hyping up Tim the Tapman's fans. It's him siding with them over us. Whereas if I was in his position, honestly, I would stay unbiased and I would look at both sides. I would report on both sides. Firstly, that gives him double the content, but for some reason, he doesn't choose that way because he doesn't get the support of the fans from all of them. Anyway, let's go and take a look at the things that Jake Sucky decided to say against me. Oh, Y'all are not shocked by this. I got no dog in this race, but I am curious what everyone thinks about this. In recent news that we have covered, we have talked about characters like Eight Thoughts. We've also talked about characters like Bad Boy Beeman, frequently accusing a lot of top names and streamers, catching some other streamers and creators in the Warzone space for hacking and cheating, but accusing or insinuating a lot of others especially well-known names of doing the same as to which it apparently now has bit back it was actually recently phase swag who he accused of using a strike pack now i know there's question marks in his titles but if you if you watch his videos i think it's fair to say that he insinuates several times that something is suspicious that he might be cheating and that he might be using a strike pack to which it's actually Nick Merckx has responded on this alongside Swag, bringing up that he might actually be bringing lawyers into the picture to do something similar as to what Nick Merckx did towards Eight Thoughts. You guys can look into that situation for yourself. I'm not going to lie. 
it's been a tiresome last 48 hours. I appreciate all of you guys, you know, keeping it real, but it is kind of draining to cover all of these different sides with so many different opinions out there. So think for yourself, think what you want. Just make sure you, you know, paint a good picture for yourself. Go watch all the videos that are actually collectively out there. It's a lot of information to try and take in, but Nick Merckx gave a strike uh, for a video he found to be unfair and targeted him with harassment to what Swag might be doing to bad boy Beeman for insinuating that he is cheating, what could be actually affecting, you know, his financials, he might be bringing lawyers involved as well. Because someone out there is accusing a prominent figure of cheating or insinuating that they are, is that affecting swag and his image enough where it would be defined as defamatory or maybe slander? I don't know, all right? I'm not a legal expert. I'm actually gonna reach out to Ryan Fairchild, I believe kind of an esports gaming lawyer and uh, think, actually ask him what he thinks about this. I'm only, you know, making the video because it would be pretty crazy to see what Swag says he at least wants to strike down and take down those videos that insinuate he is cheating because so many people just watched that video and now think he's a cheater. And could that impact a lot of things in his real life? Certainly so. It's, it's definitely a fine line that someone like Bad Boy Beeman does ride. And we've seen this with others in the past. If you guys know Dan M from Counter-Strike, you really got to be careful when you make these kind of assumptions or if you insinuate these kind of things, especially when you involve bigger names, you could be finding yourself in bigger trouble. This one is a video that likely will get me um, a bit unhinged, maybe a bit angry. I want to preface the video by saying, make, make sure to go check out all of Zlaner's videos as well as the response videos from his accuser, that being Bad Boy Beeman. In case you guys somehow have missed both those responses from Zlaner, it, they are some lengthy videos, but for context, you probably should go watch them all the way through as well as bad boys video because I will be probably critiquing his side of things as he did go after Z laner and has gone after several top names in the Warzone space what he says voicing his opinion and, and all I got to say right away is I don't mean any ill will towards the guy but when your opinion insinuates that several top Warzone streamers creators and pro players top earners in all-time Warzone are cheating you are going to get these kind of responses. When you accuse the best of the best with what by a lot of eyes out there, by a lot of eyes is lackluster evidence and what is has been claimed to be manipulated clips, you lose a lot of credibility and you should expect backlash when you call out the best of the best um, because there's, there's a lot of talk in the town uh, when it comes time for Warzone streamers and players who do cheat. Of course, the lack of an anti-cheat leads a lot of people to think that people instantly are cheating, but the, the weird the weird thing out there and thought process of some people that all of the top names are cheating together and thus they're not going to rat out another top name that is cheating is ridiculous to me and, and to think that all of the top names would let another top name get away with cheating is also really weird to me but some people hey i'm a weirdo some people think that weird way let's first talk about z laner's response though to being accused and insinuated of of cheating i don't think bad boy would deny that throughout his video about z laner he directly insinuates that he is sketchy and that is potentially hacking or cheating z in his first response gives us a webcam a hand cam shows his actual monitor and other gameplay as well a nice 28 kill game to which does not prove much right he just proves that legit he is a very talented player. It doesn't prove that he's not cheating, but that's at least the first part of his response. And I would say the most important part of Zlaner's response comes when he actually proves that Bad Boy Beeman and his accusation towards Zlaner had manipulated at least one clip to make an aim lock look a bit snappier. What was claimed to be an aim lap, I, you guys should really check out Zlaner's full video on this one because if you are going to accuse anyone of hacking or cheating and then cut frames on a clip, so it seems, what Bad Boy claims was a glitch, which I don't really know what that means, what Zlaner pretty blatantly proves is clip manipulation, cutting frames out of a clip to make a snap look all the more snappy that to me you lose all credibility right there in any argument you have going forward if you are willing to do that kind of thing the worst part of bad boys approach is the fact that he never apologizes even in his response video he continues to further insinuate that z laner is a hacker or a cheater even after being called out all he does is is pick and point at these arguments that are not the main topic even further so in his response video one of the first things he does is instead of apologizing at all 
You watch his entire, what, 27 minute video, not a single apology. In fact, he ends the video by further inciting Z Laner is still a hacker and a cheater, despite what Z Laner proved that he was manipulating clips and leaving out context of so many things out there. Even further, one of the first things he does in his response video is he calls out Z, -la Z Laner for one of the smallest things possible, that being Z Laner in his video pulling up comments on Bad Boy's videos to which Bad Boy is somehow offended that Z Laner is targeting Bad Boy's audience. That video to point out that apparently Z Laner only pulled in Joe Wo or Huskers or Aiden, his big name friends, to actually pull their audiences together and that way they can all side with Z Laner. No, he pulled them in because those are all other streamers that you have also accused. I don't understand the thought process, and maybe it's the only way that I'm thinking about this, but these guys aren't teaming together and just cheating together. They're coming together because you are the one man that has somehow called out everybody for hacking, and all of these guys are at the tippity top of the game. And I do not like the approach. Bad, bad boy, bad guy, I hope you don't think I'm targeting you, but you already lost my, again, when it comes time for me watching these full videos, you lost me when you cut frames on a clip. You lose all credibility, and for all of you guys who are somehow still watching this, I'm curious what your thoughts are on a case like this, because Bad Boy has put himself in a case, if you guys are Counter-Strike fans, you might know the name Dan M. He used to call out all the big names. It, I was a part of that community, uh, you know, during the Dan M days. I thought it was comical, because I truly never knew if he was being serious or completely trolling because he was calling out some of the best names in all of Counter-Strike. Come by and uh, they take on someone we've talked about on this channel, that being Bad Boy Beeman. In case you guys missed it over the past few days, a lot of accusations being thrown out by Bad Boy, who does this typically in the Call of Duty and the Warzone space, most recently towards uh, a guy like Face Swag, talking about him having a strike pack. Him call it slander, uh, says he obviously does not like bad boy and what he is doing constantly insinuating that all these top names are cheating can be very damaging to their careers as well as their images which i would agree with that point that's the main thing that bothers me about what bad boy does especially because he is not known to take back accusations or to even apologize never did it for the z case or he's, he's accused a lot of names out there just about all the top names have been accused by him and certainly he has actually caught quite a few hackers and cheaters but when you call out the big names and they aren't fully exposed and not fully guilty here. There's no real evidence. He should expect this backlash. That's where I stand on this. Even Swag himself coming out in that YouTube intro to explain what that suspicious blue light was. And then like I said previously, he's not known to take these things back. And I understand I understand where Bad Boy's coming from. All right, obviously me and him don't see eye to eye. Seeing Bad Boy Beeman's response to the ultimatum, and no one will be surprised by this. He has denied that opportunity to be flown out in a weird way where he fills out a form if he's even actually able to go to Canada, which he wasn't and then was, and then goes on to say he wasn't going to go anyway. But either way, Bad Boy Beeman has denied Z Laner's request, and he says he will continue to question him on his accusations or accusations but i do know if the things do continue it seems that z like other warzone streamers we've seen nick Merckx threaten this we've seen Faye swag threaten this upon different youtubers it seems that z may be going the legal route instead if the accusations do continue without what he sees as proper backing for those accusations or even more so what he considers proper defenses he has had against all of these accusations well, there we have it, guys. You can clearly see that esports talk likes to have a narrative that suits these top level content creators. If you actually went back and checked out quite a lot of his content, you would see there are even times where he has backed big streamers such as Tommy when Tommy has accused others of cheating. Maybe we just don't hold or possess the right type of following to get the support of esports talk. Maybe Jake Lucky just doesn't want to be involved with our side of things and I'm saying ah because I'm talking about me and another group of YouTubers out there who do the same thing. I want you guys to realize what a targeted attack looks like. There have been multiple and I mean multiple videos put out against me from Esports Talk where they have never once contacted me for my side of events. They have only ever given their opinion of me which seems to come across as slander, it seems to come across quite negative, and it is always biased in the favour of the streamer, whether that be Swag, whether that be Zelena, 
they are always biased. So I want you guys to take a little look at the video that Jake Lucky has actually put out where he has basically tried to tarnish Headband's name and really take that with a pinch of salt and really read between the lines with the words in which he's using, the way in which he's using them and the choices that he's given within the video where it's all very biased, very limited, where it doesn't seem to go over a certain line where there's a point where he could even agree slightly with anything that's being said on Headband's side of things. It is all in favour of the top level content creators, because let me tell you this, Jake Lucky is just as much involved with it all as the rest of them. And I say that because if one of the top level content creators is to actually come out and admit to cheating, or accidentally show their cheat menu on stream, or, I don't know, get called out by another top level content creator, then the whole house of cards will come crumbling down and then maybe Jake Lucky will get about five or six videos out of that and then guess what? Zilch. Nothing. No more world records to report on. No more streamers' asses to kiss. Nothing like that. What would Jake Lucky do with his time then? So he needs to keep that cushy. He needs to keep that sweet. So what he does is he puts out very biased, one-sided videos in relation to a topic that requires both sides. Jake Lucky. Your news channel is absolutely garbage. Just like Modern Warzone, just like Dexerto. And if you did enjoy today's video, guys, be sure to hit that thumbs up. If you're new, subscribe and turn on notifications so you don't miss any future videos. If you want to support this channel further, hit that blue join button today and become a member of the Triple B fam. And don't forget to follow me on Twitter, at BadBoyBeeman. It's the best place for you guys to contact me about any streamers, no matter how big or small if you believe they are cheating. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. Pa -pa -pa. Peace!